Welcome to the electric vehicle regenerative acceleration introduction. In this uh, video, I am going to introduce you to electric vehicle regenerative acceleration, what it is and what it is not, and why it is an important innovation for electric vehicles, uh, how the technology works, and uh, and then I'll do a quick uh, quick little demo, and then a more in depth demo after um, after this one. So, electric vehicle regenerative acceleration is. Um, is a new innovation for electric vehicles and it allows the electric vehicle to recharge its batteries without decelerating the EV. Uh, current problems with electric vehicles as they exist today is limited EV range which is dictated by the size of the battery pack that's in the EV, uh, battery recharge time and the battery cost and weight that it adds to the electric vehicle. EV regenerative braking is an, it currently exists in electric vehicles and that's when the electric vehicle's motor is used as a generator to decelerate, to recharge the EV's batteries. And in the process of recharging the EV's batteries, the generator decelerates the EV. The EV range increase, the maximum range increase that's available with regenerative braking is less than 15% of the power that was required to bring the EV uh, up to speed in the first place. The regenerative acceleration innovation does not decelerate the electric vehicle while it's recharging the batteries. Uh, in fact, uh, the regenerative acceleration innovation accelerates the EV slightly uh, when it's recharging the batteries, but not enough to, to be noticeable on the uh, speedometer. And not enough to be noticeable to the driver. The, the main aspect of the regenerative acceleration innovation is that when it's, re when it's sending current to the EV's batteries and recharging the EV's batteries, it's not causing the EV to decelerate. So the EV range increase with a regenerative acceleration generator that's in an EV is greater than 100%. In fact, uh, depending on the size of the generator, just depending on the number of regenerative acceleration coils that are being used, the, the range increase of the EV can be uh, increased by double, triple, or four times, uh, four times the range. Uh, the regenerative acceleration, the advantages of the regenerative acceleration innovation are that the range of the EV can be increased, the battery recharge time is reduced, and the, the battery weight and the battery cost is also reduced because you're not relying solely on the batteries to give the EV its usable range. The, once the electric vehicle is up to speed and the regenerative acceleration generator comes online, the range of the uh, EV can be uh, increased uh, that way. Uh, is this innovation perpetual motion? No, the, the Regen X generator, the regenerative acceleration generator, 
uh, does not represent a perpetual motion machine. And why not? Well, uh, the reason is, is that all we're doing with the, with the regenerative acceleration innovation is we're re reversing generator armature reaction. Generator armature reaction is the, the engineering term that, that, des that describes the regenerative braking aspect that's occurring in uh, conventional electric vehicles. We are reversing that paradigm, uh, but bearing friction, uh, uh, core losses, winding friction, heat losses, uh, tire uh, losses on the road, all of these other forms of uh, losses and resistance still exist in the in a uh, regenerative acceleration equipped EV, and the EV is not a perpetual motion machine. Um, the generally um, generally sometimes people want to dismiss the innovation as perpetual motion, but that's maybe that's a that's an easy way to dismiss the innovation rather than taking the time to to learn what it really is and what it isn't. So to recap, the regenerative acceleration innovation allows electric vehicles to recharge their batteries without decelerating the electric vehicle and uh, the range of the EV can be increased and the regenerative acceleration generator accelerates moderately, almost, uh, it's almost indistinguishable, the, the EV and the, the, the more current that we send to the EV's batteries in regenerative acceleration mode, the, the more acceleration we produce. Whereas um, with regenerative braking, the more current that's sent from the, the, the regenerative braking generator to the EV, the faster the EV is decelerated. So we're, we're, we're reversing the paradigm. Uh, we're not reversing the paradigm enough to create perpetual motion, but the innovation is uh, extremely exciting uh, on its own. And uh, that's it for this initial part of the introduction. And the next video will be a demonstration of the innovation in action.